Well, I wasn't very good in simulation. The NSA just called me. We have a problem in East Timor. What kind of problem? A big one. Fisher, welcome back to the front. Let's work on stealth. Your gun should always be your last resort. Invisibility is your best weapon. We've got a network of photocells on your suit connected to a visibility meter on your opsat. If the meter's at three, you're lit up like Times Square. Before you infiltrate the embassy, let me reintroduce D.P. Brunton, our interagency consultant. He's got an update for the mission. I'll keep it brief. I'm sure you know I'm excited to be part of the team. The Joint Chiefs want this mission kept non-lethal and alarms at flat zero. We can't endanger the hostages. Understood. And with some due respect, leave anything Lambert can say to Lambert. I don't want the voices in my head to become a crowd. Get inside the embassy. This situation is delicate and largely unknown, so walk softly.
Adams found you a back door. Avoid the main gate at all cost. Blueprints show an ornamental stream running beneath the entrance. Looks like a viable way in. A little wet's better than a little dead. That stream's your way in, even if it means moving slowly to minimize your noise level. Fisher, be careful. This village is a walk in the park compared to what needs to be done inside the embassy. The situation is getting worse in the embassy. They seem to be killing hostages now. I've got a man in my way, Lambert. How flexible is my zero fatality mandate? As a rock. In fact, we want you to make a new friend. From your onboards, that man looks like one of Sedano's lieutenants. Interrogate him. Find out what he knows about Sedano's defense parameters. The chatter we're sifting sounds bad, but lacks specifics. Details on your opsat. I need information. I... I don't speak English. I'd be willing to bet your neck that you do. I know a little English. Good to hear. I'm going inside to meet your friends. Anything I need to worry about? They have guns. I'm shocked and amazed. What else? My men planted the mines on our way out. We had to escort... to defend the village. Escort who? Nothing. Escort who? Ah! Nobody. I, I made a mistake. Escort who? Ah! I don't know his name. Somebody important to Sedano. He's got an American accent and one of his legs is fake. A bald man with dead eyes. A fake leg? Yes. Go ahead and kill me. That's all I know. Valum, you there? You have some light? Valum, you hear me? The flash notes confirm there was a hostage situation. Indonesian militants. Yeah, but the hostages are somebody else's game. You're here for information, and especially the information held by Douglas. Shetland's your objective. We need to know how much data was lost. Please, Fisher. Not a muscle. Sedono is right on top of you. If he sees you, this mission is over. But why me? I, I didn't see anything. But did you hear something? No. Just 
Pandora tomorrow, and then a lot of gibberish. Huh. I couldn't understand any of it. Give me your bonds. I... Thank you. Thank you. Is Shetland safely separated from the others? Absolutely. Kim doesn't open the door unless I radio him. We should break his fingers if we want him to talk. Yes, maybe. Don't shoot! But do I'm it quietly. American. And slowly. Douglas, it's been a while. Fisher? My god, man, you're getting old. You still in one piece? Where are the rest of the SEALs? I'm working alone. Haven't been Navy for a decade. Then who you with? I'm here on damage control. Just came to smash your computer. Thank god. Oh, should I say the CIA? Keep guessing. I tried to destroy it, but who knows how much data they were able to pull down. I've consulted on security for targets all over the world. Who do you work for? Delta? No. Staying anonymous. Uh-huh. Maybe you've got a use for this storage device I pulled off the gorilla I killed. Thanks. How'd you hide it from your guard? Just wash your hands when you're done with it. It was PGP encrypted. Easy stuff. For all the good it did us, the body text is gibberish. Brunton thinks it's a regional Indonesian dialect. We're looking for a translator. But we got the sender's alias, Mortified Penguin. And four words in the body text, Redbeard, Saulnier, and Springfield. My CIA people came through for us. The dialect is Timorese Mambe. There's an agency bureaucrat working in the embassy, an Indonesian linguist, a woman named Carlson. First name, Ingrid. Hey, don't kill me. She's being held in a tower off the garden behind the embassy grounds. Grimm's working on a way to contact her without alerting her guard. Carlson's your next objective. Details on your opset.
gonna like this. Chances are. Security camera tap shows a lone guard overlooking the next courtyard wearing night vision goggles. There's an automated searchlight they haven't shut down. Should be blinding through night goggles. You're telling me to stay in the light? I said you wouldn't like it. You must be my blind date. I hope the bit with the flashlight helped. It did, thanks. I'm doing the best I can. This hasn't turned out to be the desk job I was hired for. I'm a word cruncher. Word crunching's what I need, look. Nice PDA. Are you saving up for the color model? Can you read it? It's phonetical mambe. Not a native speaker, but fluent. Gives numbers for a meeting place. 4857 North. 0308 East. 18 hours. The only reference to the location is Solnier. That's not Mambe. It says they're only a few weeks from securing the uh, ingredients for the Springfield demonstration. And that's it. It's signed Mortified Penguin. Mortified Penguin? Your guess is as good as mine, but I wouldn't recommend guessing. And while you're at it, forget everything you've seen, heard, and said. Are you going to be all right if I leave here? Would you stay if I said no? No. Well done, Fisher. There's a nice synchronicity between those coordinates and the name Saunier. Both match a cryogenics lab in Paris. And we just got word from Delta. They're sending their boys in. Which means you're off the leash. Merry Christmas, Fisher. Shoot all the gorillas you like. You have a quick exit downstairs at the base of the tower. Cohen is waiting for you in the village. The Osprey can't land in the village. Cohen's afraid of being too good a target. Cut the power from all the spotlights in the village. They'll fly as low as possible to pick you up at the end of the pier. Hello? 